Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number three of my Football Manager 2014 Let's Play with Arsenal. Today I'm going to be showing you three games, and this is when I'm going to be showing three games. When you have those three matches, like within the week or so, that's when I'm going to be showing them. But then you see international break. I won't really show that. I don't see the point. Uh, but yeah, that's how it's going to go. Sometimes two games, sometimes three. It just depends how far they are apart, really. Uh, so the first match here against West Ham away is crucial to get a win because you know the first game of the season uh, we drew uh, against Stoke, I believe it was. We'll go back, check here. Uh, you see Stoke nil nil. It's not too bad. We played okay. If you go back to the results, uh, some people were a bit negative about it, but we could have easily scored a goal. Uh, people will say it's too defensive or something if you're playing a ball-winning midfielder, but they got zero shots on target. That's It's a good thing, and you still have the possession. You still have the shots. If we finish one of those shots on target, we would have won. So that's something that you're just going to get through experience with your new formation and all of that until it gets 100% fluid, then uh, yeah, we should continue uh, to still defend well and then start scoring more goals. So uh, yeah, it should be all good. Uh, we'll go into the first match here against West Ham, bring some new players in, but I don't want to spend too much time talking about my team and that. I might do in other episodes or something or just uh, on a shorter scale because yeah, to show three games, I don't want it to go too long. So uh, we've got Ozil pushing out to the left. I'm going to be rotating that. Like Some people say Ozil's better in the middle, like attacking midfielder or on the left. But it's just going to be rotation. I'm going to keep rotating. You have to do that anyway. Even though he's 92 condition, we just need to keep playing him. I think that's because of match fitness as well. Nah, he's match fit. But he's our best player, really, if I'm honest. Ozil, I love him as well. So he's going to play a lot. Bringing Vermaelen to the bench as he's come back from injury. Uh, Jakob still needs some match conditioning. You can see he's lacking match fitness, so that's why we're playing him. And of course, I signed him, so that's another reason why. Uh, Sang is getting another chance because he made an error. And when players make an error, some people will maybe not play them and just say they're crap and just leave them out. But I want to give them a chance to rectify and hopefully improve on that performance. And really, the only other change here, bringing Ramsey in for ball-winning midfielder. See, that's what I mean. Some people are saying Wilshere's not a ball-winning midfielder. I choose that role for whoever's going to play there. Like, whoever's going to come in, I'll put there. Just uh, It's more about the tactics, not about the specific players, what they're good at. It's about the balance of the team and where they're going to be positioned. And then, of course, uh, you have to choose decent players for that position. But it's more so about the positioning, not really suiting the player's role. Like, uh, Walcott's not amazing inside forward. He's probably better as a winger because... He probably doesn't cut in because he's right-footed. Uh, to score on his left, he probably wouldn't. It just It's just the setup of the team and how it plays and the passing and everything. You'll see in the games anyway, or hopefully. I'm still testing the tactic, but uh, yeah, it should be good in that way. I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping for. So I guess I just got to see how it plays out. Uh, but it hasn't been too bad this start. And of course, bringing Podolski into the striking position. He's got 19 finishing. So of course, with that, he's always going to be a quality striker. 19 finishing uh, compared to Giroud, who is like 15 or something. It's not as good. And of course, we have Bentner coming back, who's always going to want to have a chance uh, to prove his worth. Uh, but anyway, we'll go in here. And sorry if you can hear a little bit of background noise. It's just like rain. And I'm basically, my computer's like next to the window. So apologies if you can pick that up. But if it doesn't, uh, yeah, that's all good. But it's getting louder. <laughs> <clears throat> sorry. Uh, let's move on now uh, to this game. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still thinking about these team talks, what to do, what's the best team talks. I would love to hear your feedback, what you think is the best team talks to do. I definitely read all my comments. I can't reply to them all because it will just, like, it shows, like, it will show all my comments. I get, like, a lot now, which is, it's good. I love getting a lot of comments. Uh, and you're leaving my thoughts. Yeah, you're leaving your thoughts sorry, on what I'm showing and all of that stuff. It really helps me improve and allows me to show what I want to show and what you want to see and just all that stuff right there. And how to improve, like what you like, what you don't want to see, and all that stuff. I always listen, and uh, like I said, um, I'll probably talk about stuff less and go into the matches more, especially when I want to do a lot. And that's how it'll be. So, uh, yeah, always when you leave your thoughts, I listen every single comment, really, unless it's just drowned out as Podolski scores here. There you go. Uh, someone said it's going to be nil nil. Don't think so, mate. We already scored in twenty minutes. Uh, what did I say? So uh, you can see from there. Ozil coming in with the corner, uh, good ball, and we really need to take these chances. Look at that, perfect positioning, like I mean, I really worked a lot on positioning for the whole part of the team, whether it be set pieces in attack, set pieces in defense, and like I said, the overall positioning on my players, um, regardless who plays in the role. But here, we have to be careful on the defense. We have to be careful when we force Jarvis out wide, 
Uh, it was good pressuring, really, because he was forced into a low percentage chance. And you saw there, didn't even get on target. So that was good. Uh, now we should look to counter. Ozil, only playing with that low condition, 92. And leave your comments. When you play, like, what do you take into account conditioning? When don't you play a player? Uh, like, if he's a good player, like Ozil, like your best player, do you still play him if he has that low 90s condition? Uh, depends what games you play as well. Uh, if they're an important league match or something, if they're away, you probably want to play them. Maybe home might be a different situation. Can we score again? Can we score again? Oh, it's two. Murasaka comes up with a goal. Definitely not going to be nil-nil now. <laughs> Obviously, after I scored one, but now two. Uh, there you go, showing we can score. Especially from set pieces. That's really, really good if we can score from set pieces. And Murasaka, that must be his like best goal in his history of his career. That was fantastic. Uh, for Murdersacker to come up and score for us. So, excellent start right here uh, for us away. Can we score another? Oh, there's a minute. What can we do? So it's not taking us long, is it? Taking us to get our groove going. And can we get three goals in the first? Oh, Walcott. No free kick. Who's Adnan? Or Adrian, sorry. Uh, the text on this is a bit different, but... Um, come on. Jarvis, just had to defend this. The time ref, ref, yes, <laughs> good cat, Chesney, and I've always liked Chesney, I've you. oh, no, 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 that's, okay, we were really lucky on that occasion, almost gave it away, but I'm pleased with that, really, really pleased how he played in that first half, it was fantastic, I really love it, we're playing on control, some people might question as well, playing on rigid instead of fluid, again, it's just better for defensively, if people want to know, can you see it here, you can't, no, you can't see the meaning, but, um, I've always played on fluid. I just want to change it up, see how it plays on rigid. And so far, we're fairly good defensively, apart from a couple errors. But that's more that's just like player individual mistakes more than anything. Uh, you can see here. Come on, yep, good defending once again. All players pushing back. That's what I mean. It's more about the player positioning than the player roles. Uh, come on. Got to be careful here. Oh no, Downing. But I don't know if this is just me. Like, of course, playing away, like, I always get better results at home. So I wouldn't be surprised that I concede. It was Paul, like, Murdersaka. Yeah, it was just caught out his pace there. You know, Murdersaka is a slower player. He got caught out by Downing there as Downing scores a rare goal. <laughs> uh, so I might look to make a change if things don't go up. But West Ham actually have some decent players, like Notorino, AC Milan player. So not too bad. Not too bad team they have. Uh, players have got on loan, like Armero as well from Napoli, I think he played for. So some decent players, but Cazola, oh, he nearly put it in there, but we win a corner. Oh, Let's see what we can do here. Cazola goes back. Can we score another set piece? No. I think I'll look to make a change now. I think I'll put that wider as well. And yeah, I'm recording this in the morning. You can't see the time, but I'll just check what it is. It's like 8.43 exactly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is how I'm going to be doing this series. I might start uploading heaps. So with that, after up, like not wake up early. I just generally wake up this time. But yeah, record and keep doing it. So yeah, I record from the morning. So you might hear a difference in my voice in the morning. But you won't know it's the morning. It's just the episode I upload. But you might hear like me a bit different. Like, I don't know. It just how if I need to wake up properly or something, I might sound more tired in the morning ones I do, and maybe later in the day I might sound more excited or something. I don't know, but um, yeah, just so you know, if you notice anything like that, if I sound more tired, uh, like I am at the minute because I'm still in the process of waking up properly, but yeah, I really want to work hard to get these videos out. So you see here now, I'm going to be playing Wilshire in the advanced playmaker. It just again team balance that I talk about always. Uh, Podolski had a decent game. Ozil, he's done his job. He'll come off. Uh, for Oxay Chamberlain, I'll bring. I'll see how he does on the left. I'm not sure how good he'll do, but we'll just see because he'll cut in. So yeah, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. Uh, we'll leave. I don't want to get an injury or something. Or yeah, if I do get an injury, I still want another sub going on. So yeah, um, uh, some people think like YouTube is easy, like when you get paid for it or something. But yeah, you have to people. You have to work more than people think. People just think you play a game and you upload on YouTube. <laughs> it takes more than that. Trust me. It takes a lot more effort than that to make videos consistently every single day. A lot of when people expect that as well, you can't like have a day off or something from making videos. You have to work on it every single day. Oh, yes, we've got a penalty. 
come on. And same in your team as well. You have to work every day to improve and make sure I'm doing a lot of more micromanagement, making sure my training is changing every week to focus on different areas as we score the third of the game. It's definitely not going to be a nil-nil. No idea. No idea how someone thought it would be nil-nil. Uh, we'll have one of those, yeah, for the first game of the season. But when my team knows what we're doing, uh, there we go, three goals. But I suppose you can say we did get two set pieces and a penalty. We haven't scored in open play, so that might be something we have to focus on. But yeah, sometimes like you don't get the same goals every single match, of course. So Jakob, uh, who do we take off here? Got to make a late sub. I'll take Jakob off and bring Arteta. He's a bit more like experienced and he'll come in there. And again, of course, Arteta's a better role than an anchor man. But again, it's more so about the player's positioning. That's exactly what I want you to know. Um, and it's showcase here. 3-1 result away. Away matches, like I said, can always be tricky. Uh, these away matches. And could we have four? Oh, so close. I would have loved to got four goals in this game. Well, you might still have a chance. Murdersucker, he's getting around there a lot. That's that's what I mean. Even Murdersucker's looking like scoring goals. He already scored one, so it's a fantastic effort from him. I actually really like him in the game. He's a really strong defender, good attributes. Like He's way better in football manager than FIFA because FIFA, he's just exposed from his pace, but he's got really good attributes for a centre-back in the game. Even though his pace, it's not the worst in the game as well. Come on. Yep, hold on to that. And the rain is getting heavier. Sorry if you can hear it, but there's not much I can do about it. Um, here, could we score four? Maybe a late goal? No. Nah. Win it. Oh, good side tackle. Oh, go Wilshire. Could this be four? Yeah, get in. Come on. Four goals, not zero. There we go. You can see the contrast now. We're playing the way we want, and we do get that open play goal. And you can see, obviously, we had a player there offside, Podolski, but Wilshire, he just ran through. And I think can people understand why you don't want me to be playing him as the box-to-box, -box, or not box-to-box, -box, sorry, the ball-winning midfielder, because he can do that, definitely. Uh, but it's just the balance of the team. We need to rotate, and you can't have, like, Cazorla, Ozil, and Wilshire playing all in the central. There's only one. So, yeah, he'll come in there, and he'll do the job when we rotate and score. So you can see there we absolutely dominate, scoring four goals, and I'm very pleased with that. And there we go. 11 shots on target. Definitely not too defensive, isn't it? Six clear-cut chances. There you go. That's all you need to see, really, uh, to see that it isn't too defensive with that. Instead of like, some people, what do you think? Playing a deep line playmaker instead, but it shows, yeah, it just shows. Wilshire, he can score as well. It's just all going well early days right here. It's it's really going well. We're in the top four uh, currently, really good. But we still got to continue. We got to continue winning. That's the thing. You can't just rest on that. And we got to continue because uh, we have more games in this episode. Sure, I did well in this one, but if somehow I could possibly lose the next two, even though it's probably really low chances because we're at home and fairly simple teams to beat. Uh, but still, yeah, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. But when people say, like, your tactic is crap or something or you should change something or you're going to lose or come a draw and then you win 4-1 with six clear-cut chances and dominant shots on target, um, yeah, it's always good, <laughs> good for me to... Oh, Liverpool lost. Look at that, Liverpool lost against Hull. That's a good start. That's a good start. So uh, that really makes sure, well, we're fifth now. We got a fifth. We got to compete for Lee. And I'd love to see your comments as well. What do you think my expectation should be? Do you think I should try and win the league this season? Or yeah, just leave your thoughts on where you think I should be. Because of course, Arsenal fans, they want you to win the league. I think that's what they want the most. Obviously, Champions League is a big competition to win. But like to win, like not really winning FA Cups and Capital One Cups, you don't want to win that. You want to win the Premier League. That's what it's all about. But it's about growing as a team and all of that. It may not be in the first season. Just really, it depends. See, look at that. Murdersacker was my best player. He was in the team of the week. So that how, shows how good he is. Uh, he comes in. It might, it might be hard like to decide when uh, Vermaelen comes in. And when they're... Like, who do you think's the best two partnership? You've got Koscielny, Vermaelen, and then Murdersacker. He scores in the previous game. So it's really hard to say. Uh, so here, we're confident of a big win. And if I could continue and get another big win here, two big wins in a row, it'll definitely... Uh, showcase where I want to be uh, with playing this kind of way, being responsible defensively, but also being dangerous in attack, which I did show. And obviously you saw there, not getting another nil-nil. I think uh, this is a good lineup, Giroud. I need him. If Giroud can't score here, uh, this will definitely back up my thoughts of him and I might look to sell him. 
I'll give him more chances, of course, but it just really depends. But yeah, we'll go in now. And hopefully we can continue with another win, a lot of goals. Of course, you like seeing goals. That's one of the biggest things, especially at home. You want to play attacking. Uh, so let's go here. We're easily favorites. A couple of low condition players will hard tackle. And if this Yordi Rayner guy comes off the bench, he's a kind of pacey guy. So they might look to bring him on. Uh, so here passionately, and I expect nothing but a win from this match. And again, on the team talks, you really notice I basically do the same ones, like assertive second option for away matches and uh, passionate for the home matches. It's just something I'm used to doing. It's just something I keep doing, and it hasn't been too bad. Like, nothing bad has happened from it uh, that I've noticed. It's not like I've got bad results. Oh, we're going again. Oxlade! Oh, this is sexy stuff. There you go. The Ox comes in, scores his first goal of the season, and we score in the first 15 minutes. Fantastic combination play. Look at that. 1-2, Giroud and Oxlade. Fantastic stuff. And look at that finish as well. No chance for the goalkeeper to save that. Just under the bar. Too good. Too good, this stuff we're playing right now. And actually, this is something I did on my older one, just um, my other series. I want the camera to be on close because maybe it'll be more closer for you. Uh, here you go. Close. And close. There you go. And yeah, it might just be a bit closer to the YouTube because sometimes people don't watch in full screen. But if you do watch in full screen in HD, I always say it. Uh, but yeah, you can see it how I can see it pretty much. Like how I'm playing now, you'll be able to see it the same if you watch in full screen and HD. So I really recommend if you do that, if you want to get uh, the best experience from watching my videos, at least yeah, from a viewer's point of view, viewing it. Uh, so here, Kazola, here we go. Giroud, Oxay chamberlain can they combine? But he goes to Danilo. I want him to do well, of course, when you sign a player, you want him to do well, but look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Diving. Diving. Finally, Oxlade scores his second. There you go. And also, something I noticed there, someone said uh, that was the play was a bit too fast. Maybe I'll look. I'll drop it back maybe one more because I don't want it to be too slow as well because uh, some people say it lags. That's why I kind of put it up to a faster speed because then you don't really notice the lag as much. Uh, but anyway, yeah, you can see it's slow, of course, here in the replay at least. So Oxlade comes in, and yeah, we're scoring consistently goals again. So definitely no nil-nils here once again. Uh, so Alan was offside there, who scored in the previous leg. Uh, but again, we scored two quick goals in this half, and not really quick goals, but two first half goals uh, to make sure we're going to be home and get into the group stages, which is, of course, what Arsenal expects. So uh, he will say passionately, I'm very happy with that, and... Almost with this skin, I'm not sure what anyone else thinks, but almost for me, it feels like a new game slightly. I just, I feel the interest back, and you can see here, you can see the speed difference. So, leave in your thoughts if you would prefer this speed. Instead, I just put it one back, but we've got to be careful here. Alan is on. Save it, Chesney. Fantastic stuff there as Wilshere uh, comes and clear it, you know, in that ball-winning midfielder role, and he did well there. He cleared it, so that's all I need to say. That's all I need to say. Save it. Go, Chesney. Yep, well done. Uh, Sadio Mane is offside, uh, but this is just like an expectation win. You should be beating this team, definitely should. All right, so we'll see what happens here. This is the time when you make the sub, so if you can score again, uh, score three. I just always want to keep scoring goals, so I can really showcase the way we're playing is a good start. Oh, look at that, poor ball. Poor ball by them. Arteta, Cazola, Oxay chamberlain should have been three. He should have had a hat-trick as well. I want to leave him on so he can get that. He should have scored. And he was actually beastly for me in my first season last year. And yeah, I love people who say, if you stay subscribed, if you subscribe for that series, and yeah, hopefully you enjoy this as well. And it should be longer the way I'm doing it. Oh no, Danilo, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's a red. Oh, it's going to come up anyway to make subs. Uh, so I'll probably look to sacrifice just a striker now, I guess. And you can see he's leaving down the tunnel there. Um... Uh, Danilo, I'll just put Giroud there, then I'll take Giroud off, and Sanya will come back in, so uh, there you go, we'll just play that way, <laughs> uh, we'll rest Ozil, and then we'll bring on Podolski out wide, and anyone else that needs to be rested, Vermaelen is coming in to get some experience, or not experience, more so match fitness from an injury, and uh, Kazola, I'll bring Wilshire back there, anyone to come in, uh, we'll bring Jakob, he still needs that match fitness, and we'll drop him there, and Arteta there, so uh, that's a good setup there. 
Sanya will say, I have faith in him, and this is something I always do. I just do assertive on the second option here as well. And a lot of the time, I at least get two players that are happy from it. So, or not, yeah, I get at least one and sometimes two, even sometimes all of them. Uh, so, yeah, leave in your comments what you do as well. I really want to see that because I want to get the best out of my players. And I actually, I don't know, this is, when I play a passing game, when I don't play with a striker, uh, my players actually play really well like that. There's no strike and we just catch the players uh, out wide and Podolski was a poor shot, but I actually like how it looks and we don't have that striker. They sort of don't know how to defend it because we're not playing a striker. So uh, I actually do pretty well when I sacrifice that striker because then we just keep passing through the midfielders like this. Uh, hopefully you can see that as well. That's something I do want to showcase. Look at that Wilshere coming in. Uh, he comes through looking to play a ball in. Can we score again? No. Uh, but yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, Galax, I think he's the ex-Liverpool goalkeeper, reserve goalkeeper. I don't think he played actually for Liverpool, but yeah. And again, we should be able to... I really want to keep a clean sheet because that gives your goalkeeper confidence and your defenders confident. They deserve that anyway. Wilshere oh, plays it. Nice ball for Podolski. Finish it. Oh, yes. Oh, that was so close. And that's, again, uh, the philosophy of this tag or just one part of it. Uh, when the players are in the box, they're not always forced into a shot, pressured into a shot. They still like to pass it around, and it was actually one of the goals in the first leg of this game, which was good. Oh, Wilshire again. Oh, <laughs> look how much chances we're creating with a less man as well. As the goalkeeper rushes to collect that, as yeah, we're gonna we're gonna win this now. It's kind of not okay now. Podolski's injured. This is what I mean. This is the last thing I wanted. Um. Honestly, it doesn't even matter what I do here. We're going to win, so it's it's not important. Uh, we're going to be winning this even if they score. It's like not important. Maybe if they score now, get a away goal. Who knows what can happen, but uh, we're the ones who look like scoring here. Arteta to Wilshere. Oh, my God. <laughs> Should have been a goal, and that's with two less men now. Come on. Can we score? This time, Wilshere, um, he drove that, but... Arteta's offside now, but it's a good start. It's a good start. Why the the way we're playing the first month has been uh, really good stuff. Really good stuff we're playing, especially in attack. Really love what we're doing. And this guy with no face was offside, and then Allen was offside. And this should be it. It's just one of those highlights at the end of the game. Uh, no goals are going to be scored, I don't think. Just keep the possession here. Come on, Vermalen getting forward. Oh, maybe we can score. No. Vermalen, offside maybe. Yeah, it's all over. I told you, and it's a two-nil victory. Great performance at home. Let's say assertive this time, and I'm happy with that. And there we go. Continue on. Um, yeah, we we'll go through all that stuff there, and I want to show you the players I was talking about in the under 18s. A couple good potential guys here. Uh, there's two basically. This Niles guy. I'm not sure if he'd be good enough. Maitland Niles. He's got flair. I thought I like. I'll probably want him to be a bit more pacier. He probably won't be that high Premier League level, but he could be in some... It just yeah, it depends how he develops. That's the biggest thing. But the biggest potential is Dan Crowley, especially being English. I want to give this guy chances, definitely. Uh, central midfield or attacking midfield, definitely attacking midfield. I reckon you do well. Like All of these attributes should become 20s or at least 19s. The dribbling, passing, and technique, they should be really high in the future. Uh, Flair's good, determination's good. He's a guy I'll be looking... Uh, to use in the future, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully we can get to that stage. And as I said, with um, playing this how I am, I should get to that stage more quickly. And yeah, I should be able to get through more seasons. And that's the only reason that has stopped me, uh, really, uh, because I had to actually play it more because I wasn't showing. I was just doing like one match per month or something like that. But anyway, there's another guy who's really strong, especially mentally, uh, Gideon Zalalem. Really good. See, uh, this is something realistic. I'm not sure where he came from. Like, it doesn't show where he came from before then, but obviously they poached him from somewhere. I don't think he was born in England, but um, yeah, he's got some very good attributes. He's got that high potential, four-star. It'll be look very good. If you go to his information, he's touted as the next Bastion Schweinsteiger, but uh, he's not defensively good as Schweinsteiger, so I don't really agree with that notion. Again, he'll probably be attacking type. So if we've got two young guys coming through, in that central midfield or attacking midfield, like one of them could be the central midfielder and one of them the attacking midfielder in the future. Uh, we've got those position covered, two quality players. So that's really, really good. So I probably don't need to look to sign younger types like that. So that's something uh, really positive. So we have a game here against Hull. Hopefully we can continue to pick up the three wins. Pick up three wins, hopefully. 
Uh, Vermalen, he had his... Oh, uh, yeah, Podolski's injured, so I have to take him out. Uh, Filamini or Nabry. Uh, Nabry, want to give him a chance, definitely. Uh, maybe off the bench, uh, bring Walcott there. Monreal for Vermalen. So you, this is what I mean about rotating your team. You've got to make sure it's really good in this way. Um, Ramsey. Uh, Ramsey will come on for Wilshere again. Uh, Claudio Jakob uh, for Arteta. And, yeah, Ozil, I don't know. Kazol and Ozil, they're not really playing amazing so far. Maybe they're just taking time. I don't know. Yeah, as long as we score, I guess that's the biggest thing. But, yeah, Podolski's injured now. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we need... Who's a striker? We need a bench striker. No, we need someone. This is an opportunity. This is an opportunity to give someone a chance. So, who's available? Sonogo, is he the only one? Or Simeone, who's better uh, condition? Okay, he's got... He's lacking match fitness. Sonogo, has he been played? Yep. Sonogo is the fit guy. So, he's going to come in. I'm going to be giving Yaya a Sonogo. He's going to be getting a chance. And I actually signed... It's so weird. I signed him for Arsenal in... Was it FM 2012? I think it was 2012, not 13. Yeah, when I started YouTube. Um, well, it was a bit... For, the reason I started YouTube, if anyone wants to know, I actually wanted to upload goals of my Arsenal save. I wanted to... You know how there's a feature in Football Manager, but I noticed that was crap. So that's how my YouTube started. I wanted to upload goals in my Arsenal save, but... Yeah, then I researched a bit. Then I found out how to record, like, from the screen. That's where my YouTube started. So that's a little story for you. That's how it started with my Arsenal save in FM 2012. Um, yeah, that's the way... That's how I started YouTube. Like, if I didn't play that save, maybe I never would have started YouTube. So luckily I did. Luckily, or I wouldn't be in this position probably. Like, if I never got back into... Like, I don't think I played FM 2011 heaps. So if I never got into playing Football Manager 2011 or 2012, sorry, I probably wouldn't have got back into it. And maybe I would have never started YouTube. So... Thank God uh, I scored. I think I scored a good... I remember it was Walker. I wanted to upload a Walker goal. Uh, if it wasn't for that Walker goal, maybe it never would have went in my head that I wanted to upload videos. So, yeah, luckily, thanks to Walker. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm just thinking, if, it never, if I never decide to make YouTube videos, who knows what I'll be doing now, man. Uh, anyway, Sonogo. Uh, who can we bring on now? Wilshere. Is Wilshere 100%? Yeah, he just needs a break. I think it'll be best if he just takes a break here. Or a goal... Now, goalkeeper never gets injured, so I don't see the point. Like, leave in your comments, do you ever get your goalkeeper injured? Like, I oh, know, that's just me. My goalkeeper never gets injured. Uh, again, we'll say passionately for the fans. I like to say that for, like, in the home matches, as you know. So, yeah, let's go in here. I would love... If Sonogo could get that debut goal, it would be fantastic for him. And, yeah, he might actually stay in the first team if he does that, at least until Podolski comes back. But Ozil, early ball here. Murdersaka again! Is it diving everywhere? There's diving everywhere. Uh, Monreal, oh no. Oh, but he wins it back. Fantastic stuff there after the error. Atoned for his error there. Ramsey, Jakob. Oh, nice ball. Oh, so close. That was so close to being a perfect ball. And we could have scored. Oh, it wasn't a great pass with the goalkeeper there. Uh, James Chester, the ex-Manchester uh, United youth player. He's at Hull now. Come on, Jakob. We still have a chance actually here. Walker, play through Sonogo. He's off. He's off. I thought that was offside. <laughs> well, it looked offside anyway at first glance. Uh, but nonetheless, he won the corner. So a good effort there. A good effort for him. And it's good to give it in the home debut uh, because then the fans are excited about him. And if they see him play well, they get really excited. Because I'm sure you know as a fan of football, when you get a young player into your club and he plays, and he plays well more so, uh, yeah, it's good stuff. Definitely good stuff because you think he's going to be a superstar, hopefully. Uh, Ozil, who does he find here? Ramsey. Ramsey. Cathola, penalty for that. Wow, he didn't even dive. Wow. Come on, Ozil. You need to finish this. A superstar player, best player in the team. Come on, Mezzet. He finds the back of the nets. Well done, Ozil. And maybe that will help him get his confidence because uh, he hasn't played amazingly. You should really saw that by his ratings. So uh, he should look to continue that game. You know, this game, yeah, continue scoring hopefully as well. But assisting, you know, he's a genius at that. And he goes bang. Uh, there you go. Great start to get in front. And uh, we're looking to have three victories in this episode. Kazola's in pain. That's not good. That is not good. Uh, what's happening here? Now, yellow card for Sonogo. He's getting... <laughs> he picked up a yellow in 14 minutes to his debut. Hopefully, he doesn't get another. That will be horrific. Okay, here. Uh, Monreal on the throw. Ramsey, Monreal. Kazola played in. Sonogo! Oh, so close! Ooh, 
I thought that just would have went over, but Sonogo, and he's a taller player as well. He puts himself around as a dangerous player, and hopefully he develops better than Bentner. Bentner was supposed to be a superstar when Arsenal signed him, so he's still at the team, though, <laughs> somehow. Uh, Ozil this time. Who does it fall to? Oh, Ozil, good working back for that. He came from the corner to get that. Uh, shows his work rate. Jakob, Koscielny, Ramsey, Gathola, Sonogo. He picks up a penalty here. Two penalties he's got when our player hasn't died, but obviously the umpire thought it was Howard Webb <laughs> uh, gives us penalty. And Ozil, will he go the same way? He doesn't, and he still finishes. There you go. Second goal of the season and second goal of the game for Mesut Ozil uh, to put us 2-0 ahead. There we go. Good stuff. And I don't know if it's a new skin or if it's just being Arsenal, but I feel that interest is 100% high again for me playing. It might be just Arsenal. It might be the new skin. I'm not sure. Maybe a mixture of both. I'm not really sure, but I'm just back into it 100% with Arsenal. Here we go. Passionate. I'm very pleased with that. And also, of course, if you keep doing the same team talks, your players, they don't get always good responses. So you've got to find different ones. I definitely look for different ones to do. But of course, when you do ones that never get a bad reaction, you feel safe in those. Especially when you keep winning as well. That's always a good thing. So uh, here, Jake Livermore picking up a yellow. I really want to keep Sonogo on. I want him to score really on his debut. Uh, he did pick up. He win the penalty, I guess. That's a good sign. But I'll just love him to score. So that's why I want to leave him on. Come on, Monreal. What was that? What actually, what was that? Uh, Sona Luko, oh, well done Danilo, I knew he was a good signing, Jakob winning that as well, two defensive signings there, is really really good, and again Ramsey, ball winning midfielder, you can see it works there, even with a player that's not really strong, you can see it works, so again Jakob pushing up there, uh, Cthulhu, play it through, Walcott, finish it, oh, could have been 3-0, and Howard Webb, you can see just standing there, <laughs> uh, goes free he heads it to Cazola play it back no Cazola was hungry he wanted to go for glory he wanted to go for the glory I think it's time do we make you need to make some subs here don't we it's time to make a sub um, okay Cazola definitely needs a break we'll bring in Nabri for a chance playing these young players uh, Urzu, I'll just rest him I just got to keep his fitness up definitely even though there's... In I just don't want him to get injured. That's the major thing. Um, Oxlade-Chamberlain. They'll bring him on there. Just play him on the left. And Vermaelen, once again, this time for Murder Saka. Just need to continue as he's coming back from his injury. As we do assertive, second option. Have faith. You see Oxlade-Chamberlain gets a good reaction. So uh, usually the one that says you have faith gets a good reaction because you're saying you have faith in your player. What else does a player want to hear? Especially a younger player as well to know uh, you you have faith in his ability, ability sorry. Um, yeah, ability and all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, here we go. Come and win this. Don't want to concede a late goal. Don't want to concede... Oh, Shane Long. Here, I might push back the standard. No. Standard. Yep. Just to hold it on a bit more. Pay it a little bit more defensive. Hopefully, we can hold on here. As Oxay takes a knock. I don't want to concede here. But who knows what football manager has for me in this game. Come on, Sonogo. Score on your debut. Now, go Walker. Play it through. I really want him to score. Come on, Walker. Play it in. No, there's too much play. He's probably not going to score. But Ramsey can score. Nah, he's not going to score. Come on. Go attacking. I just want Sonogo to score on his debut. Please. Oh, no. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I just wanted Sonogo to score. Come on, win it back. No, don't do something stupid. Don't make an error. Come on. Yes. No. <laughs> uh, War oh, Walcott, what are you doing? To Ramsey. Sonogo, score. Oh, so close. Yeah, good stuff. Good attacking play, though. Not being a Manchester United under Moyes and defending your lead. <laughs> uh, but anyway... 
Yeah, looking for a win here. You probably want to win this more than a 2-1, but as long as you get the three points, you've got to be happy with that. Even though, yeah, I went attacking to hopefully Sonogo to get that debut goal, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to happen, which is disappointing. But at least he won one of the penalties. That's actually what won the game for us in the end. He won that penalty, so uh, I'm happy with that. I'm happy. See, you can see there, some players listening keenly. Uh, that's good. And again, we dominate. We, yeah, we definitely did deserve to win that. They only had one shot on target, and of course, they would score from that one shot on target. But we push up from another win. Uh, that's always good. And this game, another five clear-cut chances, dominating the clear-cut chances. Uh, I think we had six in the first game, six in the second game, and now five. And compared to other saves I've done, I usually only have three or four. So, yeah, um, I'm really happy with how I'm playing currently. We're doing really, really well. But, of course, we'll end this here. Uh, the Champions League registration, uh, you don't need to see that. And... Yeah, so this is how this episode is going to go. Usually in the third episodes, again, talking about if you notice I'm tired or something, doing three is very long. In total, this is probably recording for 30 minutes or something or even more. I'll just check and I'll, I'll check and see so you can see for proof. It's 43, 43 minutes. So that's 43 minutes talking straight. <laughs> that's a lot. And I'll probably do that three times in a day for my football manager. That's how I want to do it for Arsenal now. So you can see there, um, yeah, how long it's gone for as you pick up 2-1. Everton lose. Any other key teams? Liverpool, 1-0. So where are we sitting now? We're sitting in a third position. That's solid. We're continuing. We're playing well. And now, what are we going to see next games? After international break, yeah, we might go for another three. We'll just, yeah, might keep doing that. Uh, got the Sunderland, uh, Tel Aviv, and Aston Villa. We'll just see how it goes. But anyway, if you enjoyed it, drop in your comments. Drop a like as well. I'll greatly appreciate that. And I'll see you guys next time.